welcome to I'd Back That Kickstarter Good with Glory Hound. Dr. Glory Hog. Just Greg making Dixon. Just making oh sure wow, we have I mics. must have my green screen come chroma screen on right now. Oops. Hey, I can Oops. What are these? That's because we're on chroma screen, guys. Chroma screen. That's <laughs> like an old, like, <laughs> timey theater thing, like, now in chroma screen. Like, it's like a, holo like a holodeck now. <gasps> Do you have it, too? No, but I just want to be Every, part of it. Everybody has it, guys. So, we're going to be talking about today. Go ahead and tell us what we're going to be talking about today as I We're talking about I some fix this. And we have a lot today. We we're have five. talking about board games. And you mentioned in your video the other day on the Dice Tower, that because probably the time of year with all the cons starting to happen Stop and stuff. Stop name dropping. There's a no, it was her. It was her video. Don't name drop that her. There's a, <laughs> there's a. It's the best name drop there is, man. That there's a <laughs> lot of like lower <laughs> price, uh, you know, like Kickstarters this time of year. It seems like you know. Absolutely. Because people yeah. are saving their funds for buying stuff at cons. I think the week after Origins could be intense. Or like this week, actually, there's a lot of really good games that are coming out. There's some that didn't quite make it. This cut will make next week because of like they launched on Tuesday. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited because if they're smart, they're going to launch their game now. So that way when people come play their game at Origins, they can be like, it's on, yeah. Kickstarter. It's on Kickstarter. You can now. back, yeah. back yeah. it now. Yeah, 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 I think that's super important for them because, I mean, timing is everything with that sort of stuff, you know. So you're going to see the ups and downs it's all about of that. Timing. Let's see. You're already Let's watching five already. already 100. On yeah. Dice upon time. Oh, okay. Probably most excited about Dice Upon a Time. That's interesting. Okay. Vincent has limped into the chat. Nice to have you, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. Limping. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much I'm for joining us today, guys. And it's not something else. Well like maybe he's limping for a good reason. Who knows? So since we do have five today, we're going to get started right away. Let's go into it. We have 100 Tori here. Oh, look how pretty. Aww. It is so pretty, right? That looks so nice. I'd like to be there right now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that image with like, the so that right, the Okay, so that right there is a Tori. So that's what I was talking about. Yeah. So that's my unit's like symbol. And so whenever we would acquire a vehicle unit. in Iraq, we would spray paint a big red Tory on it, and then everybody ah. knew it was an American vehicle, it was owned by the, the Rakasans, and they wouldn't mess with it. That's yeah, cool. if you went ahead and joined us on our Instagram, like pre Kickstarter yeah. show, that's what Dr. He's Glory Hog was talking, was talking about. Talking yeah, about yeah. basically so anything with a Tory gets a, like a double look from me. Cause I'm always like, "That's my unit." Does that include Tori yeah. Amos? Yes, I've double looked at her. This <laughs> this game here is a tile lane game. Oh, oh there's a cat. And oh my goodness. It's okay, I got her. Oh my goodness. And like. I thought it was interesting how you're not only just laying tiles down, but you're trying to connect locations, and then also, I guess the people like are gonna give you, well, they're Help gonna you. give you, like yeah, they're gonna give you extra, like special right? Yeah, and like the longer your path, and if you go through, and tories, you're trying you get to yeah, cross tokens, under tories, and then and the stuff. tokens are how yeah. you score at the end. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. Depending on the color of the tories, what kind of tokens you get? I think if you do the blue ones, it allows you to kind of pick which tokens there's you want. There's different color tories. Yeah, I think there's blue and yeah, red. Yeah, there are there yeah. are different colored tories. What was your guys' first impressions though of the game? Tories. Like, was well of the five, it's I think it's the best pedigree, the strongest one. Well, it's the best pedigree. It's the, the designers who've done stuff okay. before, like Whistle Stop from Scott go. Caputo, and then um, Scott Herbaceous Caputo. and Sunset Over Water from Ed Baraf, and so and then Vincent Dutrait Art, and so this just feels like the most like. I don't know, like just the, the best pedigree. Oh, poor Vincent. Yeah. I I injured my say? back doing the dishes this morning. Oh, nerve removal. That sounds horrible. So I, I agree with you that this one seems like it has yeah. the best pedigree. It looks, I mean, it's by tried and true, like yeah. game pr Artists and producers designers. and designers yeah. and everything. But do you guys it. like tile lane games? Absolutely. See, like I'm always on the fence because sometimes I like them, but like, like Hassel Round. Or Carcassonne, or whatever it is. <laughs> the casserole like, game. About a casserole, a casserole like game. Like, when I play like that game, I'm kind of <laughs> just like, meh. Like, I mean, I don't hate it, well, but Carcassonne's I'm like, meh. One of those games you but got, I really you liked Carpe Diem, okay. which yeah, is yeah. tile lane in sure, a way, because sure, you sure. build your Absolutely. own little tableau. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that one. But, like, you know, Carcassonne. I, is it Carcassonne, or Car is it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm yeah, not it's Carcassonne. Carcerone. That's how people say Carcassonne. it. Carcassonne. Yeah. That one, <laughs> I, I've always felt. <laughs> Sky. I always felt like like it was just kind of like that. Tile lane games can sometimes run the gambit of just being boring. Because you're just like, oh, I lay a tile. The base game is so basic, you have to throw some expansion. Okay. In. And so I, th I think that 
Uh, I don't disagree with you. Like, I don't ever play just vanilla Carcassonne. I always throw in some expansions, and it only takes a couple expansions to really kind of breathe, you know, breathe life into it. Breathe life into it. And, and yeah. I like Carcassonne. But it is a gateway game, too. So you yeah, I was gonna just going to say that. It's a gateway game. So and this like appears to be as well, but this feels like a I would a play a tile game. laying game about lasagna, where you lay, and they stack on top of each other, because you'd have to have tiles lay later on top of each other, too. That would add a whole other dimension, Maybe literally. Be this Instead one of going here, out, you'd go out and up. As far as, like, if it was g in the gateway game area, this That's one is easier to explain card. than Carcassonne. To because sometimes Carcassonne, when you explain it to new people, yeah. you have like that field area, and Far people are like, uh, "What?" Trees. Like, well, Carcassonne's also. I mean, it's it's gr it's a it's a landmark game in the hobby, but it's old. It, I was gonna yeah. say it is it's older. Well, how yeah. would you compare this to something like Papillion that's coming out again? Papillon. Sure, that game <laughs> too. Is it it's coming back. I think <laughs> that's the right. End of Papillon this month. is coming back uh, on the thirtieth, guys. 30th, so 31st, yes, like I that? think it's the thirtieth. That they're very end of the month. That. It's coming yeah. out. So we're. Uh, I mean, we backed it the first back time. That. We're going to yeah. re-back it again. Yeah. Back well, that's a, that's a tile laying game, but it has other aspects to it. Where this seems more of a straight on two tile completely game. different games. Yeah, how dare you? Because Papillon has so many <laughs> other pieces to it. This is like a set collection. You know, tile it has game. Okay. yeah, that has area control to it, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, this is more of a set collection. Oh, Magenta Lizard's on the Greg train. Like, <laughs> it looks pretty, but I think <laughs> I want to play it first. <laughs> I think for the price, the I mean, Greg it's thirty nine dollars, right? So it's not excessively yeah. not expensive. expensive. No. I'm willing to give it a shot. I think I could back this one just based off the fact it of the price. Like it looks like it's good. It it's got, like, good reviews. I mean, James Hudson's like, 10 out of 10. And it feels like the kind you know. of game you would it would actually get to the table a lot because, like she said, oh, absolutely. Teach it easily. Yeah. There's enough variability just in the order that the tiles come out, I imagine, not to mention the people you have access to and all that kind of stuff. There's, like, expansions built in, all this stuff. It feels like you could get a lot of play out of this. Could it, like, the new and improved Carcerone? Cacazone? <laughs> Cacazone? You're all casseroles and lasagnas what is today. Oh, man. You must be hungry. I'm papillions. always hungry. this boy a sandwich. You uh. can put some papillions in that car <laughs> casserole. Just put the sandwich in me. <laughs> I'm ready. What do you guys think of the art in this? Because I like it. It's vintage trait. This is yeah. a I like the art. game that's about a garden, and I see grass, but <laughs> I don't know like if I see like a garden here. It's a you walking know? garden, though. It's like a walking path yeah. garden. Yeah, it's about like a hiking kind of. I don't know if it's the pictures that they have is here. Is it because it doesn't have enough koi ponds for you? Because you think of Japanese gardens and koi ponds and little bridges. Yeah, and, and I'm thinking like cherry, more shrubbery. Like if I'm thinking of like shrubbery. a Japanese garden, I'm thinking cherry blossom trees. Maybe some like bonsai or something. Yeah, like. It looks like there's like next to this little like token. One of th one of those or whatever. one of those like planes from World War Two. One of those well zeros just parked in the garden. And I like these tokens <laughs> here. <laughs> No, no. I like these tokens <laughs> here. The random award goes to. I don't know. Yeah, the tokens are Mitsubishi. pretty. The characters yeah. look cool. I like the characters. Um, and the, there they are. There's your bridges, you know, and your wells. And your okay, so I mean, you've got some. I do like the fact that you're collecting a bunch of tokens, and in the end, you kind of score. So I that'll give it kind of like that euro y feel where you're like not 100% sure who's ahead because you're like, oh, he's got a lot of tokens, but are those the three pointers, the five pointers? Right. And then you get bonus and you, and you, you get to take additional too, actions. Once you get a certain amount of tokens of one type, it's that's the most out. you can score. You have to work oh. on other things. So, it so you, you get you that little bit of point saladiness, which yeah. I know you really like. Sure. This is probably right. just like yeah. more of a nitpick, if anything, is that like I'm envisioning like these beautiful tiles where you can like, oh, there's squirrels on this tile or something. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, where the tiles yeah. become. You want more like lanterns art where it's like you feel yes. like the traditional Japanese. Like when you play lanterns, not only is it an exciting game to but play and strategic, yeah. But, like, okay. just laying the tiles down, you're like, wow. Like, this these sort of lantern theme is just beautiful. Yeah, these tiles seem more functional. Hmm. Yeah. Like, they're like on the, uh, s uh, the spectrum of functional a versus aesthetic. And I think they missed that little piece of so it. Like I think so what you're saying is you would like it better if it was greener and they had instead, like, white rock as the path, <laughs> like, covering it and, like, a thinner rock. They have to fit all the icons and stuff. And I don't think they want the tiles to be, like, enormous. Right, right but what she's saying so is you could have made the whole space. tile green and then put, like, white rock over it or something. Like, they think it's a white wa rock walking path that's, like, thinner, yeah. like, maybe half the like, size. It's definitely a, a nitpick, but it I can see nitpick. what you're saying. Yeah, and they could have had, like, one of those little sand gardens in there somewhere. You know, like, there's so much culture. <laughs> sort the boys out. Kat. Yeah. They're th getting excited. There's so <laughs> much culture that they could have brought to this, and, like, I, it just sucks that they kind of missed out on that one little okay. tiny piece of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. going to lie. I'm, like, 50% into this game just because of the Tory, the red Tory. Well, I mean, like, that would have, like, pushed That's this like a tattoo that almost every guy in my unit has. Yeah. That it red Tory. special significance yeah. to you. Art is so important for games, <gasps> especially now, and it would have pushed it just over that what edge of, important? like, is whenever you're. Important? Oh, my God. Let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> I was letting you. 
theme. Is theme important? <laughs> theme is important. It's hugely important. Let the woman talk. And crazy, that man. particular art piece would have pushed it over yeah. to the point where, like, me scrolling by would have been like, oh, my God, what is this beautiful game? Okay. Whereas right now, if I'm scrolling by, I'm like, oh, it looks like another euro style another game tile. with the art <laughs> and stuff, with some tiling and stuff. You know, like. Bad. So just scrolling past it, I had a completely different impression whenever I actually okay. started viewing this game. I guess for me, since I, the people that were promoting, the pre-marketing was good on this one. So oh, I absolutely. saw this one pop up it a was. bunch. Yeah. And then, like I said, my eye was drawn because, I mean, it's got Tori in the name of it. So I looked because I always check that stuff. Alan says pa uh, Papillon right. versus Kadama 3D. I feel like they're too different. Papillon. So I yeah, think they're Papillon's gonna have more overall two gameplay, different games. like we'll more replayability, but we'll come back to yeah. that. We're th gonna to talk that. about it. Alan. No, I like I like that question a lot, though. We'll come back to that one a lot. Uh, but with this one Seems here, a little kitty to Alan. Hmm. I yeah, and I feel like the art is in that sort of kitty. It's something like you would see on my first Carcassonne or it's something. Family, you know what I'm saying? Family way look. It. I think it's gonna be a good game, though, as far as like it's all the different stuff that you're doing and everything. Yeah. Art. I think the art is. Fine. Well, because you're like from Euro well, to yeah. everything now. Yeah, and I you think started that in Euro. definitely applies to different gamers and and also yeah. to different genders. I feel mm. like a lot of times women are drawn more to an art in a game first, and I then looking women. at the mechanics and stuff like that. I guess that's true. I'm Especially all in on theme, like for me, like that's whatever right. the theme is. I'm like Vikings, what? Right. Or I'm like, uh, you yeah. know, and then I look at it more, and I'm like, oh, okay. So and it's I'm one like, of those things. Crap. If you're <laughs> short in one category, you're just not going to draw in those gamers as quickly. That's all it is, you know. But I think this but is going to be an amazing. The real game. question is, is, is do you still think it's going to be a fun game? Yeah, absolutely. And would you back it? I would back this. Okay, would you back this? Yeah, of the five, this is the yeah. one most likely. I think it's a I'd, I'd it's back this one. I support Tories. Yeah, it's a great game for a great price. You have, like you said, pedigree designers right. behind them and stuff. Yeah. Like, gameplay looks interesting and that there's it's not just like a one-level gameplay where you're just li laying tiles and, like, getting to certain places. Yeah. You have different things going on in here and I think it would like get to the table a lot. I think, I think you, so. You would be yeah. like, oh, that was quick, that was easy, I got it. Yeah. Let's try it again. Let's see how it feels different. She was thinking more of a Zen people. Garden Vincent. Yeah, Zen Garden, exactly, Vincent. Yeah. That's exactly so what I was thinking. I mean, of. I'm, ass I'm assuming they that just Japan has, tiny little has at least like two that. different types of gardens, and this is probably a different type. And if you guys missed herbaceous, like you can yeah, also get cool that stuff. Yeah. yeah, I really like whenever they Another do that. Another one of the games did this too, I think, and I was pretty excited about that they had like the bundle their other games, which always makes we think like they did well enough with their other games that they think that's a selling point. That's a good sign. Oh, absolutely. When their first game is like trash and they don't even want to mention it, that's a bad sign. Oh, this is cool. I didn't notice this before. Lisa Wilcut is a Japanese cultural specialist who teaches Japanese culture and religion at the university. That's cool that they have someone who has like an expertise in the culture so they're not it's just... It's really important, yeah. Yeah, so they're not just like... Ellen backed this. Like <laughs> they're not just like random people going like, we're right. going to make a game yeah, we're make a game that we know nothing about. Right, exactly. Huh. That's cool. All right, so yes, this is a 100 percent back i think for yeah. us on yeah. this yeah this is my favorite of the bunch i mean if greg's gonna back it i'm good for him <laughs> it, but because we back we back a lot more than greg all right True. next up we have kadama 3d this is by indie boards and cards this is for two to four players lasts about 30 minutes this game is not just a reprint guys okay so no, immediately they changed it they did they changed can i go over this yeah time? you sure can go a ahead new right. game in the same kind of theme <laughs> In, in a way. So the big thing about Kodama is that you get different branches and you build out your tree. One yeah. of the biggest issues we had when you have a small playing space is people's trees merge into other people's yeah. trees. Or you get the, like, the mother-in-law who's like, well, I don't get how my branch is supposed to be on there. And I'm like, well, your branch is upside down. It should go from <laughs> like thick to thin. You know, like you know, just like more like the non-gamers. And I'm like, you know, like it's just not right with this one. And, I, and I've said many times, I'm like, it's a tree game. Why doesn't it go up? This one is so cool because it actually does go up. So it goes up. You get to build it. If you build it too much on one side, it gets lopsided, and it'll fall, and you've got to, like, take that piece out and put it to the other side to balance it. And what they did, which was interesting, is they took the basic concept of, oh, I draft out of the middle, right. which is a very simple, like, oh, I draft out of the sure. middle. That's every deck builder ever. Instead, you've got a meeple that's put on the different card piles, and you've got to move that meeple around. So somebody kind leaves a, a meeple puzzle. that gives you a chance to move over there and then take a card off the top of there. And it really gives a little bit more of an interplay like ability to where I'm like, I don't want to move my meeple because I know Greg wants this, like, this uh, you know caterpillar on here or, or this or that. <laughs> and, and you're like – so you can really kind of – 
that's get a little bit more interplay instead of just like I'm doing this thing and hopefully my cards are going to be good because that's how it always was before. Hopefully my cards yeah. will be good. Oh, there's nothing good out right now. This gives you a little bit more like I was interaction. Really I think. Underwhelmed by Kodama. I play. I looked. Up it's beautiful looking. Yeah. I looked up my play of it. It was like in 2016, so I don't remember a lot about it. But we played it once at some con. And I was like, all right, that happened. We picked it up at BGG 2016, like at the actual convention, because yeah. we liked it. But you're, uh, you're right. But After multiple plays, it's a plays, good starter game and yeah. with beautiful art. Kadama is. And we played it with our kid more than anybody else, this probably. This makes more sense thematically, like you said, to build up and to have almost like a, like a little, yeah, element. a little bit. And of it has. I love the advanced mechanics on choosing, and that yes. is my favorite part about what they changed in this game is oh the yeah. fact that you can use meeples to protect certain pieces so people can't get them. Yeah. You know, because you have two of them, you can use pieces to pick out and plan Yeah, where you're too. going through. You have one display that you're all going off of here with these little branches that oh you're man. all trying Jinx to do to stuff heckle. on. Heckle away, old man. It's We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Look about like virtual tomatoes at us. which card comes out first and, oh, I got this card first. No, this is about what can I protect for next round? What can I challenge people in the next James round? James Hudson, you can heckle us once you've got a copy of Tyler. Blades to play. <laughs> this, I was so impressed by their improvements on this game. It made me, I mean, it made me want to get it right away. I was like, oh yeah. man, like I, I love on the one. beauty on the of the original game. I love the fact that you're putting together these trees and the theme of it and everything. This adds everything I wanted to make this a complex game to play, and that was so exciting. Well, it's for like me. the argument we just had, where like there's Casarone or Carcassonne or whatever, <laughs> and then like Casserole. 100 Tori seems like a more gamery <laughs> version, right? Casserole like a little bit more. Game more play in it. Yeah. This is the same thing. Like, regular Kodama's fine. It's kind of very gateway -ish. This one, I feel like, takes it to a little bit higher level yeah. where there's a little bit more, like, area control and, and interaction between players where you're not just building your own thing and hoping you get good cards. Right, absolutely. It definitely feels like it's all better. Yeah, like no. In every yeah. Way they did an amazing job. And yeah. you no longer have that problem with it sprawling across the table. as like crap also, you could, like, knock it. And the c you know, you have to, get, like, line the cards up. Yeah, and right. Never, and it right. never looks good. Yes. Like the putting the branches yeah. when you have the branches on the cards, it never looked like it was one yeah. continuous tree. It always looked like crap. And I maybe always yours mad. didn't look like a continuous tree, but mine. No. She <laughs> would, what she would do, <laughs> what she would literally do when we play is she'd grow her tree at me as as much as she could. Oh, I love that. So like that it, I, becomes, so it becomes an area control right. game on yes. the table. And then I couldn't go that way, so I'd have to like build off another branch and I'd lose points because it was such a so annoying. <laughs> my it cards are annoying. here. I can't move my tree. I can't move my Sorry tree, guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she'd be a jerk about it. So I can't move my tree. I'm a woman. This one, though, like, uh. you could just <laughs> <laughs> this one, though, you could, like, if you needed to, you could just grab the whole thing right? and like, move it wherever you need. So I just like that when you see uh, Bebo's kid. I'm sorry. I think her name's Haley. She's playing it, and she's like, and if you put too much on one side and it falls, it's like, burp. <laughs> she's like, you got to move it to the <laughs> other side. And I was like, that's legit. There okay. You go. They like, they thought of that. They like really demonstrated you how can, that works. Yeah, it can get lopsided like a real tree. Now, okay. going back to Ellen's question, the difference between Papillon and this game, there's – I think there's a big difference in the fact yeah. that Papillon still has tile laying in it, and then and area Papi control. yeah, and Papillon has yeah. area control. Whereas this, you are fighting for what's in the middle, but then your collectively, tree is but very then your solo. yeah, your tree is solo. Right, right. Nothing can be affected by it or anything like that. They might look similar because they are both like this 3D style game that they have going on, but the mechanics in both of them it's more just the aesthetic. are yeah are very different in what you're kind of trying to do. I feel like this game is Papillon is more family friendly, where even though you are putting butterflies on shared ties, things yeah exactly you have tons of shared ties, shared points and stuff. This one here. It's going to be cutthroat when you get to those branches, especially with players like Being me. Being able to block and stuff. Yeah, who yeah. are like, no, you're not getting that piece. Like yeah, she's <laughs> all about denial. I'm, I am all about but the denial. Like I'm player, like, oh, player, you like that piece? For her, player oh, you're interaction going for is just worms? making everybody else denying them. I don't think so. I don't think so. She doesn't play blue and magic hey, the gathering, but she should. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm going to play this creature. Denied. Counterspell. You don't get to. So she I'm should, super excited about this game. Like. Super, super. Yeah, excited. Usually, I make it a point never to back a game that's so similar to the original that, like, I feel like I'm just rebuying the game. Like, I, I haven't bought Clank in Space because I'm like, I've already got Clank and I've got three, four expansions. I didn't buy right. Starcadia Quest because I already have Arcadia Quest with a bunch right, of expansions. Right. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy a retooled, different themed version of a game I already have. I feel like this is different enough Feels that I would. That, right. I feel like this one is different enough that this is the one I will play, and my other one's going to end up either, like, as in a travel kit or I'll give it away yeah. or. Or something where I feel like this is 100% replacing the other version. 
So interesting, it's uh, Travis Company, number one for Indie Boards and Cards for this one, and Travis Company, number two for Colossal for Papillon. So, and what do you guys think of the price on this? I was surprised that a pledge of $24, beautiful. you're going to get one copy I of it. I was really surprised. Like I thought it was going to be like 40 I, I thought it was going to be in that 40 range, cool too. Bits right? And stuff. It seems very reasonable, yeah. Like, how are they doing this for 24 bucks? Narrow, that seems crazy. Narrow margins. Right? Probably. But uh, they uh. they did good too. If I remember when we bought this from BGG, it was only like twenty something dollars, and I was even for a card game. Most games are just more than that. Period. Yeah. So and then like the forty dollars, you can get uh, the Kadama Tree Spirits and Duo and everything. Right. They got just really amazing prices on this. Yeah, because I, I was interested so in Duo because because Kadama impressed. two player yeah. just playing a two player version is not as good. Like it's just not as much fun. So <laughs> I'm excited about this. Yeah, this is one that I would actually just buy retail if I saw it too. I tried really hard making Papillon like a cutthroat game, and it did not work. But I did win. I think that one by big margins, didn't I? I, have I was to like, look it, up. Super it was either you or Ian. I know I, I didn't win. I was super like, ooh, we're going. The part hardcore I on this. <laughs> Ian, Ian Burtzell, who was doing the, the demo of it, who yeah. works for Colossal, he was like, oh, you're going the Caterpillar route. No one's done that before because I had like 80 All the caterpillars. caterpillars. Yeah. I had like no good tiles, but I had like 80 caterpillars. <laughs> like every time I just got extra caterpillars, he's like, well, we'll see if that worked out. And I'm like, I think it's going to. And then we had a more up close of Greg, please. I'm a super get fan. in there. Get in there, <laughs> Greg. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hot in here. I'm probably all sweaty. <laughs> She probably likes that. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. She's like, so I, like I like seeing you sweaty, ooh, just not feeling you when ooh. you're sweating. Chris is saying the price point almost got me to back, but he thinks he's going to wait. I could see so this one being more expensive in retail, which is not usually the case for Kickstarter. No, it's not usually the case at as all. As far as the extras for this, I think that if you're into ooh. Kodama, that this <laughs> one here, you know, go ahead and get the extra stuff for it and everything. Stephanie's the one who was marking all our videos dislike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the, the other thing. That so week. we have one super fan that dislikes us so much based off our last episode. Super fan. That Super fan. That he they is, yeah. They he disliked they our keep, last keep eight visiting. videos <laughs> within a three-minute span. <laughs> so I, I'm pretty sure they didn't watch them. They just were like, what was the last video? Just like, last video? Just like, last video? I was like, so whatever, now, man. So now we need the community to extra like all of our other videos. <laughs> <All right. laughs> wow. To, like, combat like the, to combat the one just like. Get kids, you know, <laughs> it was cousins. Such a, it was such a ants to come in and just like. Well, it's like people don't think that we know this, but on on YouTube it tells you this, and it's like it's like you've got eight dislikes in a three minute time span. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a jerk. Like, <laughs> it's not somebody who dislikes the videos that much, unless they just don't like your all face. Right. Maybe they just don't like Kickstarter. But here's the thing. But no, they're not all kicks. They weren't all Kickstarter oh. videos. And there was, was one where it was just down YouTube. the line. It was just There's down one the line. There was, there was just YouTube because I was at that Friday fun yeah. event. There's one that was just me and her because you weren't there. So there so was no common to name. Unless they just unless they just hate her. Who has time to do that? I don't know. Oh, I'm a gentle lizard. I'm on it. <laughs> Stephanie's like, not me, nope, not me, nope. I, like, I hope Magenta Lizard means these on it like like, not dislike. <laughs> <laughs> these component upgrades are super adorable. It's really oh my pretty. gosh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm backing this. Guys, if you guys didn't know, I am backing uh, this. I'm 100% yeah. on it. I'm on this one too. I liked Kadama, the original, Enough. because it was anesthetically pleasing and it was easy to teach to new gamers. Anesthetically pleasing? Isn't that like when you put someone to sleep? Anesthetic. That's right. Anesthesia. 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 No. <laughs> But and this one here, like I said, gave me all the extra things to make this like a super competitive, exciting game for me. So like yeah. I'm a hundred percent in on this. I want to build this tree so bad. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and then I just want to cut it down. That's so weird. I want to build this tree so, so bad. So bad. I want to make this tree great hey, again. I'm, I'm not gonna lie trees. to you. <laughs> if that other game, 100 Tory, had a deluxe version that had like little red Tories in it, I would back You'd it. You'd be for down that. with that. Yeah. Little Tory meeples. Stupid. Yeah. Every time you go under a Tory, you I've get a Tory. I've done on so like much yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's ridiculous. See, like we need we need to just consult for board game companies. You know what would make your game great? <laughs> <laughs> you need more bonsai trees and more more bonsai, more Tories. That really likes Tory. Zen Garden. Make sure you put that in. Zen Garden. Is a Euro gamer wants more brown cubes. I want just yes. more brown cubes. I want to be bland and, and, and bread that looks like a grapefruit. Yeah, Greg, please. would you back this? I didn't like the original, so I, this is something I'd need to try first. I know that's what I always say, but yeah, I, I'm yeah. not I'm not in on this one. But yeah, I'm in on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wanted to touch right, his mouth. All right, moving the on. Mouth. We have I dice have upon a time. Mouth. So Dice Upon a Time is for two to four players. It lasts 45 to 60 minutes. This is by Corona Games. This is a newer not game. Corona. Company. No, no, Corona not Corona. Yeah. Like the beer, no. Not like the Mexican beer. What was your guys' first impressions of this game? 
I, I feel like this theme is, is like becoming more and more. Like the fairy tale. It's like Cthulhu because it's open source. Right, right. Like anyone like can we do Grim. We did. This one's super suspiciously close looking to like some sort, some Disney characters and stuff. I was like, oh my what? gosh, guys. That doesn't look like I I'm like the art, though. I think the art's solid. The art I, is cute. It's kind of cartoony. But I, uh, it's just a theme that's already starting to feel like it's being overdone. So I here, know. here's my biggest issue. When it said dice, I thought, oh, man, she's out for sure because she typically doesn't like dice game. But the dice is more of a placement thing for movement, so that's it a little like bit no better. what you roll, you can get something good out Yeah, because you can go to the side things and then get yeah. boons for later turns. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, she's out an easy out on that one. But then when you say family-type game, yeah. that's kind of a negative to me because yeah. that makes me feel like it's going to be more gateway gameish, And I'm just kind of – I have enough of those that I don't feel like I need more. Like, those are games I usually go, hey, let's play something like, um, what's that one game that we play with the investigator and the cards, and you got to pick Detective out the murder? Detective Hong Kong? Yeah. yeah. The, the murder of Hong Kong? Is yeah, it yeah. Murder Deception, Hong Kong? murder Deception. of Hong Kong. There it yeah. is. Deception, Deception, murder of Hong Kong. I show somebody that one first, and then I try to convince them to play something more in-depth. Right? Like, there's the ones I play at work with, like, the so casual people at work versus the ones that right. I play with you guys. I'm not going to bring Deception over to your guys' house. With this one here, I'm – worried about the fact that you can block players off and, and in from on things in this board using your dice and so you feel like that'll take away from the family aspect of it i do because i feel like a family this that blocks particular together. well this particular fairy tale style game i feel is more in the level that like i would play with my kid and then have like my kids you know right. friends also play as like a maybe a more advanced board game for younger kids you know right. but I don't know how well that's going to go. But they do have down here further where they said, okay, you know, and if you don't want to play as an aggressive game, yeah. like you can do these modifications and for it. And if you don't like randomness in your game, you can take the story cards out, which right. are like random events. Right. So I they, remember seeing that. They've, that there's they've a way got to make it less random, but is yeah. there a way to make it less aggressive? Yeah. It, it, I thought I they did. It, it does. We, we'll scroll down. I think it's more based off of, yeah. of like – how you want to play because you don't have to be aggressive with it. It looks beautiful. It Say nice peaceful game or messing with other players. You decide. So it's telling you you don't have to. You don't have to aggressively use your cards on other people, so you but can you help can. Well, okay, so you can help fellow players using your dice or you can use dice and magic items to block your opponents and or balk? Sorry. Balk, balk, balk. your opponents and players. So that means it's just strictly going off of choice in the game. So if you're playing a game full of everybody being nice and then in the end for the final thing, I'm like, ha suckers, <laughs> blocked. Now I which win, you would totally do. which I would 100% do. That is trademarked by me, okay? <laughs> the end the end getting screwed over basically. Yeah. But last minute slap. Right, over. exactly. I've been so nice to you guys all this round, don't you trust me? There's a reason <laughs> I was nice to gain your trust. Boom. Yeah, and the board is super cute, Stephanie. I completely agree. Like, yeah, like the, the art, art in this is fantastic. Yeah. The dice are colorful. Yeah. Like, looking at this immediately draws my attention to it and stuff. I just don't know. I know that I'm an aggressive game player, and I don't know how well this game is going to go over with me playing it with other people who are not aggressive because this has a lot of room to be a jerk. <laughs> like, I think you really have to pick on this one. I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I, agree. I mean, Greg, you have kids. How do you feel about something like that? I do think that even if you have kids that have grown up playing games, that they can still get their feelings hurt if a game is suddenly aggressive and they're not expecting it. Yeah. Um, so that is a concern, especially if you're playing with young kids. I don't know how complex this is either. It doesn't seem that complex. I don't think it is. Yeah, um, that's why I'm thinking in more in that gateway, you know, kids like, but it sort like of. Want to play it with kids who are gamers? I don't know if this is yeah. a non-gamer kid game. So is this one that you just you would need to play before you back it? <laughs> it's like you know me. No, I like the art. I think it has a lot going take for it, and I'm not against me, it. Take me <laughs> on. <laughs> but it's not my favorite of the five. Okay. Know, okay. Um, it it does feel like it's just doing what a lot of games are doing. Like here's some minis. Oh, that's fair. The, the minis here's are like so are cool. cute. Like oh uh, my gosh. Here's a theme that we can do for free. And you know, it just feels like it's kind of. To be fair, it's this or Cthulhu. I mean, that's your options. Yeah. <laughs> this or, or Cthulhu. It's yeah. Grim Fairy Tale, zombies yeah. or Cthulhu. Zombies that's are going out, guys. Okay. Actually, pirates are really hot right now. There's it a lot of pirates. Pirates going are on. so hot right now. I do like. That I mean, unlike so hot. Forest, it feels like you're gonna <laughs> actually always use the minis. I know in that game. Yeah, like absolutely. Like, there are oh. all these beautiful minis, but they don't come out. And if you don't get the right cards. Okay. Yeah. 
I do fair. like that, like, at least it feels like you'd be using these minis throughout you the You use the pig the minis, which is the most important animal. <laughs> the noble hog. They the have everything hog. here, though, that looks amazing for a game. I mean, yeah. I just don't know if this game is particularly for me because I'm going to be super aggressive in this game and I'm probably the majority of the time going to be playing it with my kid. I don't think you do. Yeah. Because I'm not going to break this out for, like, adults. I might break yeah. it out for, like, my mom or something like that, yeah. you know, to have her try it. It's kind of like, what's the audience? Like right. I think that's what you're saying. Hmm. I'm not going to go to your. I'm not going to go to your house yeah. and be like, Greg, let's play Dice Upon a Time. Like the three of us and, and Stephanie would sit and play this. Yeah. I don't think I'd play with little kids. I, I just don't know where this fits. You know. I think it probably fits in like that eight to twelve ish range, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. You know, yeah. but depending on the person too. Like if if you have a really vindictive wife that's going to block everything, Absolutely. you might not want to let her play. <laughs> no, I can probably play with my kid just fine. <laughs> there's also a small I can play dice throw with my kid and not make anybody cry. <laughs> and somebody wins and loses. I that make one everybody too. cry, guys. I'm sorry. I think like there's a part <laughs> of me too that'd be concerned about the die rolling and that there could be like a frustration yeah. there as well. I Mal know you can always do something with the dice, but I could see you getting your heart set on like I really want to move here. Yeah. And I just can't get the roll I need and the frustration. Well, of that Vincent Hawk just called you out because he knows you're well. Maleficent. <laughs> so <laughs> hashtag true story. She loves Maleficent. Like that's I her do. favorite that's character. Like There's a new movie coming out, right? I know. Yeah, I can't wait for it. She loves I'm Maleficent. Super down. She's all about. She's like Angel Jolie I'm wasn't like evil enough in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Like, it was such a good movie. Oh, gosh. Okay, well. You always side with the bad I mean guy, the don't you? She does, usually. A That's little bit. She likes me. I like the anti-heroes. <laughs> like, I don't know. She likes, like, that, I like the that bad cute boys. thief that steals and then pretends to be a prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I pulled. I tell her all the time I pulled an Aladdin on her because she met me. I was like, you know, like, I had money. Oh, and, my god. And I pretended like I was all clean and all I right. like to do you stuff. You pretended you were clean, but the reality is that you're dirty. <laughs> reality is I'm a pretty messy person. You're a dirty Let's be boy. real. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass on this. Okay, going to pass. Yeah. But I would like to try it. But uh, This but is one of the rare ones that I would uh, I'd want to play first before I bought it, just what? because we have a lot of gateway games that we already don't play enough. I don't know if this is one I have yeah. to have in my collection, where I feel like Kodama 3D is something that I will p actively try to get people to play. I don't feel like this is one that I would actively be like, guys, come play this game. So Alan says, thinking this was going to be a good gateway game where I can want people – to get people on a nice modern uh, mechanics and a cute theme. I agree. It's I it's that, going yeah. to be a gateway game, absolutely. Yeah. It's just for us, the majority of people that we play with yeah. are not gateway gamers well, I anymore. Have a lot of gateway games too. You know? Yeah, you do. You know, so and we don't really play them I can't as much. Tell like you our kid, we bring her right yeah. into stuff. She was playing between two ca or between two castles of Mad Ludwig. What is that game called? Yeah, yeah. between two castles of Mad King Ludwig. Yeah. yeah, like that's about as light as we get now. Yeah, like yeah my kid so comes to play at the table. We're like, well we're playing inside. If you've grown up playing games, by the time you're eight, nine years old, like right, you like can she's play she's down there with much. like, oh, I'm gonna play X Wing and Blood yeah. Bowl, and I'm gonna yeah. play like yeah. these she very strategic, you know. Yeah games where oh i'm gonna play game of thrones now and so she's like used to those sort of games which she loves the gateway games and the fact that she can go and teach her friends she likes right. the dexterity ones like yeah Cat tower and yeah Hero and stuff. exactly but that's a and those game. are things that Everyone likes they'll take she'll take over to grandma's house and play Giant with grandma Mario and grandpa Hero. you know that was fun dice at uh unfortunately PGG. we just don't play with many gateway gamers anymore we used to i want to say like we're five so years late. ago but not well, but just not yeah, as much everybody anymore. Everybody we knew was a gateway well, gamer at that point. Yeah. But it just feels like I have a lot of good gateway games. Yeah. I don't right. need another one. There's just there's some X factor missing here that just so doesn't quite grab me on this. To one. be 100 percent clear, I already have Grim Force, so I don't feel like I need this too. This does not look like don't a. Don't you want a game where you use the minis? I use the minis in Grim <laughs> Force. <laughs> this does I not play as the dragon. <laughs> look like a bad game. This no. looks like a good game. No. This g particular game just mm. doesn't fit yeah. what I'm looking to do. In my gaming experience, that none of the that's games all. Look bad this, this, there's none of these that yeah. I'm like, ooh, red flags don't back. It's just. Ooh, like, really? Really? I don't think so this oh. week. There's oh, one. Really? Our oh. next one. Yeah, our that's next that's one. That, Alan that saying that. That was a segue I planned because <laughs> I knew you were ready to move Alan on. Alan is saying that he was like, he's trying to find something that kind of ticket to ride complexity. Oh, I think this okay. will be fine. I think, okay. Alan, if that's what you're looking for, this yeah. will be great, which is what we always say. Absolutely. Not every game is for every person. This one is just not for our particular taste right now. Mm -hmm. But if you would have hit me up five years ago, I probably would have been all in on this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Playing it and being, like, surprised that I like it as much as I do. Like it might That's how be, I was about Grim Forest. I didn't want to play it at first because I was like, oh, it's three little yeah. pigs. And then I was like, oh, this is actually pretty legit. I was impressed by it. So Absolutely. And you know what? If you guys end up backing this and then you end up playing it and stuff like that, let us know what you guys think. Come back in the comments. Sure. Like, we'll, we'll come back and take a look at this video and everything. That would be fantastic because – 
the whole point of us doing live content is to see what you guys like and yep. what you guys want to back and everything. And for you guys, too. yeah, to comment on that stuff too, because being in the uninvited gamer sort of series you means that everybody's yeah everybody's contributing the, to this guys I'm you really know excited not when some of these ones one that person. we were like oh we're on the fence for and the people are sending us like their reviews of it yeah. and like their pictures and stuff and because like, we can't back absolutely. everything you no know, and try. that's 100 percent it we can't we back everything <laughs> <laughs> she definitely tries so if you guys she get let me look at that credit card. really cool stuff in let us know okay this competes Statement comes in the mail she's like i'll take that yeah. so chris <laughs> is she gets the mail chris is saying this competes against villainous for the same audience I like and villainous too. i would agree with that yeah because it's right along that yeah. road where like you're in that gateway gamer territory and it's probably cute theme where yeah you have a cute theme and everything i would say that some decks in villainous are maybe a little bit more complex for some gateway gamers but nice like right exactly but it has a nice progression where like okay you know i'm coming from a very easy deck and then going up where with this one here, you know, you could play very friendly and then later in the game get very mean and try to push it to its limits with that. I so think, oh, see, I I'll think back to Copenhagen. That's I cool. I think Villainous, because it has the IP as well, helps. Would help. If, you're, if you have the two next to each other, like yeah. you're picking something. You know, the person, well, the gateway gamer you're trying to sell this to is going to be like, well, let's play that one. That one's the well, I think Disney So if you've game got your kid, like your kid, kind of generic I think your kid would go for this one. But like if you've got adults that are Disney fans, they'd probably go for Villainous. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All so right. It just depends on what you're looking for. Next up, we have Space Invaders. Oh, the, board yeah, the board game. The board game. That's right. Four of the five great. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this one here, although it looks like a very fantastic looking card game, I was unimpressed by the publisher and where they are you in social about media. You want to talk about a ghost company. There's yeah. the, the BGG profile has no pictures. There's no yeah. Facebook presence. When I checked There's BGG, there was no there was no BGG. Entry at all? Yeah. There, there is an entry now, but it's a, it's a photo coming soon. I'm like, you're okay. already on Kickstarter. And I checked, I want to say, what was that, like Tuesday or, it, it or hasn't Monday had a photo or something? For a while. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. And, like, you don't really know. <laughs> but what the heck it's, is this? It's funded. I think, honestly, <laughs> it doesn't. It's crazy funded. Yeah. It doesn't. It's not. Well, it's it's funded. Well, it's not crazy funded. A nostalgia That's it. That's all well. it is. Yeah. I think it's 100% the writing funded. nostalgia. That's pretty crazy funded. Yeah. 2,100 backers. Yeah. And it still has 21 days left. Oh, okay. That's more this than I thought. This thing is doing really well. I, I guess I've just gotten used to, like, and the Skybound. Here's the cool thing. Cool you're not. Million yeah. dollar. This game does not look bad. It's a deck building game. I think it looks all right. It looks like it has potential. Right. It, ha it has potential to be a dick deck building game mm. that I would go ahead and play along lines of, like, Ascension-y sort of stuff. Because Ascension is, like, a super simple deck building game. I'm going to pretend have like the guy in this video is actually Vincent. <laughs> this is him advocating <laughs> for the game. Not this guy, the other guy. And that cool like little board thing that they got here that's like way too much money for me to actually spend anything on is freaking How awesome looking. How much was I think it? it's like $1,000 or something because it's like signed. It's and then diorama. it has like, it is. And it has it's like so all so these random. lights and stuff. And like, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks like the back of like, a pinball machine. It looks amazing. Like, I want one. Then I looked yes. at the price, and I was like, hell no. You know how many board games and burritos <laughs> I could get with that money? I don't think so. I could go to Alta <laughs> twice. That's now, right. <laughs> my, my concern, too, was I, I played the IDW <laughs> Missile Command game. Did you guys play yes, that Yes, I played that one, yeah. I did not. And I was uh, pretty underwhelmed by that one. I think right, you were I was, well. too. And so I just uh, – this also kind of reminds me of the discussion we had, I think it was last week, about racing games. A big part of what's fun about Space Invaders is that they speed up. They're coming faster. Yeah. There's that pressure. It, I don't know how well you can simulate that with a board game. Just like I don't know how well yeah. you can always simulate racing uh, or any sort of speed element in a board game. That's always like a difficult trick to pull off. So I just don't know if this would feel like, oh, I'm playing a slow version of this video game with cards. I don't know. And, and like I said, because I was underwhelmed <laughs> by... Uh, Missile Command, which was done by IDW, like a trusted right. publisher. So I, I have to say, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really concerned about this one. I, I'm really critical on card games because yeah. I already play the best card game ever invented, which is Magic the Gathering. Nope. Magic <laughs> the Gathering. <laughs> oh, oh, Magic. Yes, if you can find another card game that has a, a bigger following and more versions of the same type of game to play, I challenge you to. Because just unless you talk about regular poker cards and all those types of games, yeah, yeah. 
great. And even then, I don't know if there's more of it, but it maybe. looks it looks beautiful. So I like, like the deck building. I just portion don't think it's enough. Like poker chips and stuff. Yeah, I, I would want to try this, but retro. So here's my problem: retro games yeah. do nothing for me. I know. Retro games do nothing right? for me. I like them in their time, but I've moved on. I play. <gasps> I'm not gonna play a PlayStation 3 game unless it's been remastered to PlayStation 4. Call wow. me. Wow. You're like a snob. Call man. me a curmudgeon, wow. but I want to use the technology I just played I bought. Bubble Bobble yesterday. You did, and I wasn't excited about playing 100 it. I was like, oh, I remember, like, 100 levels. 100 levels. Years back when they had the X Men side scroll. Oh, one. that's As right. An app on the that's iPad, right. I was all about you're it. Like, I was like, yeah. I'm so happy to have this I'm, in my life again. I'm more willing to Final on Fantasy my phone. VII. I'm like, let's do this. <laughs> I'm more willing to on my phone, but unless they remaster yeah. it, I'm not gonna play this on like a PlayStation. So like a retro game doesn't do it for me. Like the, all those Pixel Hero and all these ones that are like, oh, it's Pixel Art, Boss. Monster. Doesn't it doesn't do it for me. In. Now, Boss Monster was a fine game. I like the theme of it, but like it does. Stuff. It the looks retro, adorable. The retro pixel look. The pieces I'm over look it. amazing. Did this game. This is why we improve things because this is crap, guys. Dude, this whoa, whoa. looks. Art's gotten better. Amazing. <laughs> I am. We have more pixels now. Not excited about the publisher though. Mario like, Brothers only no, wore a hat and a mustache because they couldn't make hair back then. <laughs> And they couldn't do his lip well, so they put a mustache on him. Now That's the only you're reason. Not about the publisher. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Is this publisher done something? Not that's really. Questionable they just don't they exist. They're just nowhere. They're just not on social when media. When I went to so look up a logo them. for them, yeah. like I had a hard time finding any sort of logo for so it feels them. Like they're just coming out of the blue. You don't know anything about right. them. Right. No. And that's just a red flag. Right. Okay. How many have have they created anything other than this, or is this their first? I think they did create one other else. thing. Because I'm right. I'm kind of at the point now where I'm getting like kind of mad whenever I see it's like first created zero backed. What's well, like you yeah. don't want to be the. You're like oh cool so you came to Kickstarter to get money. You've never <laughs> ever been part of the community <laughs> well, until and today. And you don't want to be the canary in the coal first mine created one first backed. Yeah. First What's the one that they backed though? So I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I'm like, what did they back? They bought, they backed Impulse, Impulse Game, Game Controller, Controller and Keyfinder Pocket Accessory. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah I'm not gonna. S yeah. So I don't feel like they're part of the community, and I, I understand Well, they're not, not because they weren't even on BGG. So yeah. like. It does sort of feel like an outsider coming into the board game. Space. Which a I'm not opposed bit. to. It no, looks like no. they have a fantastic thing coming together, but the fact that I couldn't find any information on them. Oh, it yeah, throws up a r an immediate a red flag for me. Too? I don't recall. Not really. Because usually I'll look up the designer to see if they've done anything else. Yeah. I, I don't remember seeing a designer on this one. but maybe I there's, not, there's not an immediate red flag, but like the fact that you have to really hunt to find anything about this company at all. And that like, oh, the company was made like a year ago. And da 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 And it, it just announced its CEO like last week. And you're like, uh, this, there's just enough stuff that, that it's like, I, I don't want to get burned again. Especially for something right. that I'm not Ma already excited about. Like Magenta so Lizard says, a money grab maybe. You're like. You're not Nine hundred ninety dollars on this no. cool light up diorama. No, no. Come on. this has everything that no, looks like it would be a fantastic right first creator game. Like they did a great job with that. However, as far as it touching the gamer community, they like did none of that. Yeah, BGG lists nothing oh. for the designer yeah, okay. besides that's this game. Yeah, that's what I and the publisher of it. I just couldn't find enough information. So those two things alone. To proceed with caution. Yeah, here. send up red flags for me. I'm where usually pretty positive. Me this as looks a cautious like a snoozer for me. Like it does not look fun. Well, me as a cautious person when backing things yeah. like this because I I don't want to get duped, you know, about anything. And luckily, I have not in all the games that we've backed. Wish we've always got we've gotten everything. Yeah, <laughs> we've always gotten everything that we've backed. You guys so got burned for twenty four dollars. Never again. We've been part lucky and part extremely suspicious about things guys right, okay right. <laughs> that's when people come to you guys because you have so experience and expertise in this stuff this one here for me is too risky of an investment because i don't have enough information I'm Sad sadly though. i feel yeah. like most I of the back like potential i want, I want, want them to, like to succeed, yeah, I, want I, succeed. Yeah, I want I them too. to succeed i honestly feel like most of the backers are probably more casual people yeah, well yeah absolutely for other reasons or whatever and they're like oh what's this like that unstable unicorns or they don't kind of more that casual gamer they don't have anybody doesn't follow bgg doesn't this video by the way let's just did you watch that it was no, so dramatic was it it was like 40 years of legacy yeah and it was like Though it's changed the world, it started with just a pixel. They also <laughs> didn't send. It was like really dramatic. They also didn't send these out to any reviewers. Yeah. So between them, yeah, maybe not have any. Yeah, flag. not have any having any promo copies. They're just riding the coattails of b this hey, being making a hundred grand already. I mean, yeah, of this being them. a Space Invaders game, guys. Yeah. So that, like I said, just sent up too many red flags for do me. I'm not going to be backing did this. Did you see one. if they even have the licensing for it? Have you read anything about that I at all? I, ha I didn't look into the licensing because I got as far as, like, 
them couldn't not find him. Yeah, couldn't find them. Didn't have enough information on things. And then I was like, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to pass on this one. This, so about, this is about as negative a review as I can get. It just looks boring, and I don't trust that they're gonna fulfill. <laughs> Sorry. But it's a ballsy move if they don't have the license on this. They're going to get cease and desist. I mean, that's yeah. crazy. It's $30. It's, before, though. it's $30. Yeah. If you guys want to take a chance and you like it, totally up to you yeah. guys. Let me know how everything happens. Yeah. Is, with the cards, with the nostalgia, yeah. with the poker chips, with the cool stuff. It's going to be amazing. 30 bucks seems really yeah. reasonable. If but they do like deliver said, everything, it's, it's, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And I'm just not in to try to offer my $30 to see if it is. That's all it is. Because it did look really interesting. I need guacamole at Chipotle. I'm not trying to spend my guac money. For real. Like, I need my $30 worth of guacamole. That's like, like 25 burritos worth of guac. I know, right? She, she's like, $30 <laughs> worth of guacamole. That's five guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> if you want guac on the side, it's $30. Holy crap. Inflation, all right. y'all. So, like I said, although this looks like a fantastic kid, one. Okay, we, can, we need to start over. because Oh, yeah, let's just start over. Just this is right. 100 <laughs> Tori is a game by right, Pencil First Games. <laughs> <laughs> Last up, we have Imperium by Contention Games. This is Imperium the Contention by Contention Games. So Lots it of contention. Very it so much contention. Argue about this one. It should be really contentious. <laughs> I'm it's very interesting. No, whenever I disagree. <laughs> Ding I it. I want to know more about this Chipotle queso. Like That's what I want to know. Nobody likes the Chipotle queso? I, oh, really? I'm allergic to milk, so I can't have like milk at all. It's not great. I didn't I know that. I don't eat Chipotle that often. Hmm. That's like what? Oh, oh, YouTube failed you, Kabuki Kid. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> no no notification. notification. All right, everyone. Aww. Strongly worded letter to YouTube. That's right. I want everyone to write out the best parts of this show so far and send it to Kabuki Kid. There you go. And then I am. Right? I like that. I like that. <laughs> so what I liked about this game in particular is the fact that they are using cards instead of game bits, and that just makes things less expensive. So this is going to be a 4X Ooh, game. It's for two to four too. players. It lasts about yeah, 90 minutes. This video is like a video and game. And it keeps yeah. it in that range of $44. So you're going to be able to play yes. a 4X game for $44 with some minis, cards. It would have been 90 bucks. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and because I think you it's need kind all the of ships. It looks like it's an interesting one. I mean, That's it's, pretty art. It's space. They're, you're flipping over stuff to explore. Space You've got has different been factions. so hot right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fairy tales are hot. So hot right hot. now. Space is hot. When you see. A little hot. When you see <laughs> when you see Cthulhu dressed as a pirate in space with fairy <gasps> wings, then you've hit the you mean queso? fighting zombies. <laughs> then you've hit the ultimate. Guys, we just made our next game. We, need to make this game. <laughs> we, we that just needs made to our next game. Brought to you by the glories. Oh, <laughs> uh, that should be what we should call. Brought to you by the glories. <laughs> So I, I went into this one with my arms like kind of, oh, another one of these, 4X. But I got to admit, the more I looked at it, the more I'm like, I'm kind of intrigued by this one. This one looks like it could be really cool. Like, it, I don't know if you guys have played Tyrants of the Underdark, but it has these like I different. I haven't. I've, I've mentioned that to you. Yeah. Come over. I'm like, it, I want to play it. It has these different factions that remind me of like the half decks in that game where it feels like just depending on what you play, it's going to be a very different feel. I like that it seems like there's lots of different ways to win. Uh, I like that it's all cards. It feels like it's going to be quick to set up, quick to play. I think it said 90 minutes, which seems very reasonable for like a 4X experience. So I'm a little on the fence, but like the more I looked at it, the more I was like, I don't know. This one's kind of pulling me in. I'm kind of excited. Yeah. No, I mean, this one. So this one is one that I found two weeks ago, put it on the list, and didn't make the cut based off what we had. And then when <laughs> oh. we were talking about this week, I was like, yeah. I was like, this one we didn't talk about. And she's like, okay, I'll look at it again. She looked at it again. She's like, okay, let's talk about it. Because like, I really advocated for this one. I'm excited for it. I don't know why I want a 4X game so bad right now. I know we've backed like two or three recently. Yeah. I just want one so and badly. It feels like it's been done to death, but there's just an X factor here. Like you said, the art looks good. Yeah, it the looks. The price tag is good. Uh, the, the different factions seems cool. I like I that it's know. cards for what I don't know why, but I actually like that it's cards. I like I'm the just fact excited for it. that. They do have each individual deck of cards, so mm -hmm. each one's going to be completely different right, as different they're going through. Place. Right? Yeah, it's it's. I'm very interested in this. This is looking I, pretty I, good. I like the magenta is just updating. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Alan's <laughs> Alan, Alan, like Glory Hound is Maleficent. This is true. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, I love the I love the recap here. The real time recap. This this lasagna <gasps> tiling game will be sweet because it goes oh. out and up. I'm telling you, that's two dimensions. <laughs> I want to get the, the We'll yeah. make it scratch and sniff too. Oh. oh. No one's going to scratch and sniff. See? Game. Oh my god. Yeah, right? It sounds like Papa Zombie. I'm 
We told somebody the other day, what was it, a uh, legacy game where you, like, when you rip up the stuff, then you plant it because they were going to do, like, a oh. legacy game based about plants. Yeah. So and I was, was like, and then you could plant them. Yeah. The yes. Exactly. And it we were like, Because it is. Because, like, the packaging legacy is planting. all going to be eco and everything, and yeah. it's a big part of the game. And so we were like, yeah, why don't you make it whenever you rip up the cards that there's, Instead like, of throwing you away, plant you plant the them, and then you get flowers and, and stuff. Yeah. What I'm hearing is yeah. board game tree. Yeah. <laughs> right. If only there was. Sprouts. If only there was a board game oh, about edible. trees. <laughs> <laughs> it just hasn't been done yet, guys. I'm There's telling no you. Board game. If you, like, oh, if I think we've got a bud. <laughs> I think this is gonna be ticket to ride. How sweet! W <laughs> I, I have to admit, it would be sweet though to plant your cards and then get like some sprouts off of that. And you're like, oh, what are you? And you're like, oh, I'm making a sandwich out of my legacy I'm game. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm We're probably hungry. hungry. We're going to have She's to like go to Chipotle toast or here. Something right yeah, now. Ooh, I know. Chipotle? Yeah. Chipotle is my life. All right, guys, concentrate, focus, space. I love space games. I love 4X games. Space pants. I love how inexpensive this space 4X game is. The yeah. art looks amazing in it. I love how the factions look different. I love this black hole right here. You yeah, can't get yeah. enough black she holes loves in your the black life. Hole. That's right. Like, it's all about it's all about the black holes in the universe. Uh, like there's, she just wants all life to be sucked up and destroyed. They're all the cards are mapped out really nicely with Vacuum their attack board? and defense and everything. Speed like there's tons of great things going on in this why game. Why like Vincent yelling crusty cheese at us because he's still talking about the lasagna game. He's talking about the lasagna game. <laughs> okay. And he's like edible pieces. I got a hundred <laughs> ricotta points. Woo. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ricotta faction. <laughs> I'm mozzarella. We're boring the noodle faction. Mozzarella. <laughs> oh, Alan says this is 10th in his queue for for oh, wow. further game research. Yeah, Alan is, is like new at a Kickstarter. Let's pause while and Alan like gives us the first But nine. he's like a super backer probably already by now, I is feel like. Is that just because the you haven't disposable income, looked at it as much? Or is that because you're not as sure about it, Alan? It's just the I one that's know. in his queue that he wants to look more at. Well, yeah, okay. He's got other ones he wants to look at. First. Okay. Like Let's all put words into Alan's mouth. He waits. <laughs> I think Alan thinks I'm the best looking. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Alan does <laughs> always <laughs> message and like let us know his thoughts like ahead of time usually. He does, so. and that's really nice. This is very nice. This I like that. To keep up. <laughs> keep up, Greg. Old man Greg. So today we're talking I'm about old man the Greg. 100 Tory. Oh, wait. I'm old man Greg. Old man Greg. All right. I don't know how this interwebs works. What are you guys thinking, though? So they, although this is cards and stuff like that, I did notice that they do have some ship minis that they are doing per, per their goals, stretch goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fine. Which is cool. I'm, it's not I'm a down lot. with that. It's three. It's six. It's but not like it's so many. That we'll does mean it'll take longer bit. to produce the game, and yeah. I'm not ex super excited about that. Mm. I, w I almost wish they just would have done without. I know people are probably like, oh, we need spaceships. Yeah, we need they got to throw that in right. there. Right, and they probably had to they throw it in there. Cool. But I would have been more excited with maybe, like, upgraded wooded components or something something like that. I you like know, the just the some the sort of upgraded component. Times six one, though, kind of looks like a mop. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks it looks like some it hair like floating in the face. It, <laughs> if you put it up this way, it looks like Thing from the Addams Family. Oh, this thing! Da -da -da -da. Oh, now I have to back da -da -da -da. this. The Addams <gasps> Family is the best. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to say I'm down. She would have been Wednesday. I'm d I would be, yeah, or Mati Morticia Adams. Which yeah, one? Yeah, you I could definitely know. be Morticia. Yeah. Okay, so. She loves arm kisses. <laughs> oh. Academia. Oh, my. It's getting real hot in here. <laughs> Stephanie's like, why doesn't Greg kiss me like that? <laughs> <laughs> she left a long time ago. She's out. She's like, I don't Peace want 40 out. minutes of Greg. She's like, I see him when he comes home. Seriously, I have to deal All with right, I already have the summer to deal with I him. think there's a <laughs> new blues. faction, too, that they were going to do. Yeah, they have a new faction, too. So that's exciting right. as well. Like they're going to be adding new factions. Five six player thing, too. Like, yeah, lots of... Lots of little extras they're going to throw in here. I'm going to have to say, or you know what? A game mat would have been really cool instead of the ships. I'm like complaining about my ships. I'm not opposed to ships. I love ships. But I'm just saying, if you're going to... I muted her, guys, because she's <laughs> getting out of control. If you're going to focus wow. on the part that, you know, this is a card-based 4X game, like, why would you add that extra portion in that you already tried to, like, you mean the Get minis. rid of. Yeah, you know what I'm because saying? Because people like love because minis. Because people love them. You can't, I mean, if, if you can offer it and you can afford to do it, do it. why not? Yeah. It just makes sense. You're going to bring I'll, I'll help you out. What you can do, people to your campaign what you can do, babes, is cool you spaceship. can just leave your miniatures at home when you go traveling with this game. And then you get the best of both worlds. But when you're home and table space doesn't matter, bust out your minis. <laughs> <laughs> your, little, your little cousin it. All right. Greg, would you back this game? Uh, this one's like my second most likely of the of the crop this Ooh, week. Ooh, Greg might actually spend money. I'm tempted on this one, yeah. Ooh. 
so fancy. We'll run it by the missus. We'll see what she says. You let us know. We'll back the other one. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, this one. This one's a, is an I'd back because, like I said, I like four X. They hit all the points that I just love. They, I and it's four not X long games, too. It's, it's like a 90 card minutes. game. Yeah, I love it's that. It's inexpensive. That's full player count. Four like players do about ninety minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, you're visiting the different areas. They have like different places that are interesting that you're going to be visiting in there. They have different factions. It would just hit everything for me. Here's this. what I'm thinking too. Like when a game is a four X game, it's like ninety minutes. I feel like you want to play it and then you can be like, all right, now that we played it, let's play right. it again. Do we want to like bid for who gets what faction, or do you want to try a different faction, or you want to stick with your same one? You get like that excitement of playing it again and and trying out that war yeah. all over. And yeah, I don't know. I'm excited about I it. I think that I feel like they're Vincent fainted. <laughs> Either he didn't get enough food talk, or because he heard something about not getting rid of minis and he lost it. <gasps> so I feel like. Do they have Chipotle? Do you think England? this game would have done better if it wasn't as close to Origins and? UK Game it's Expo. Funded, right? Yeah, it is. It is funded, <sighs> but I feel like I'm like, why isn't it funded you know as why? much? And, and, and I'm not an expert. There's just so many games uh, well, like this. Well, here, here, here's my opinion, and I'm not an expert, but I am the one that usually hunts through all these, and then she refines them. Trust me, she sure. refines them. I give her so much crap. Um, no pre-marketing. I didn't hear a whole bunch about this one. I think That's I might true. have seen a banner. There was a maybe, couple of ones that were like they did 100 down there. Tori. I saw banners. I saw live plays. I saw. Mini reviews. I saw multiple my plays, and that that can be true. But like you lose because Facebook of that. that. But you lose because of that. If you're not willing to invest yeah. in your game up front, you're going to get less return well, on so Kickstarter. Maybe this one will hopefully like start them down that path of hopefully. being able to. I was going to say other projects. This is a newer game company too, yeah. and they're starting out. Their name is By Contention Games. That to me makes me think they're going to make more of these. Like they're going to make. You know, contention games, the outer world, contention games, the such, a, you know, like. Lasagna. Right. Contention exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> contention games, the black hole. So that part of it makes me really excited is the fact that, okay, are they gearing up Vincent. to make like a huge thing out of this? I am Greg. That would be fantastic. I'm not like Because his here. wife is here and he's trying to act like he's got money. First created. He's like, yeah. love me. I'll buy you games. <laughs> All right. Greg, would you back this? I'm on the fence, but you're on the fence. Uh, How expensive yeah. is this one? This one's cheap, 44? right? Forty-four. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah I, I, I want this one. You want this one? Yeah. If Greg does Tori, we'll do this one. Something like we'll we'll work this out. I'm, okay. I'm in. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in on I this one. I want to buy this one though. I like this. I really just want a 4x game so bad. Please make it and send it to me fast. Greg said he might get another game. <laughs> Who is that man? And where is Greg? <laughs> Rips off his vest. It's Greg. Arya Stark. <laughs> <laughs> so topical. I should stop talking about that <laughs> movie, that show. It's been over oh for a week now. Oh my god! So, so over. Oh so my over. It's gosh. almost been seven days. That was so last week. <laughs> Jeez. Well, Those thank you so much for joining over. us that's today, right. guys. That's we went over people. like five games in about the same time, so that's good. We there was a couple of ones there. I, I knew we were kind of gonna pass over Space <gasps> Invaders pretty quickly and stuff. Whoa, so she prejudged. Well, yeah, because just well, because of what was involved with it. And I with argued it. the Space Invaders should be on the list because it was getting backed and it did have some hype. And so right. even if it's something we, we are went not back necessarily super interested in, if it's got enough hype around it, I try to make sure that it gets on the show also because it's important to talk about what you guys want to talk about. Well, it's not absolutely. All about us. And it's mostly about me, but a okay. little bit of it's about you okay. guys. A tiny, a small, a very small amount. Well, there's been times when people will go ahead and say, Maybe "Oh, hot. have you seen this game?" or "Have you looked at that?" They're and then I go back to review it, yeah. Yeah. and I'm like, "Oh man, how did I miss this?" Because like as you're going through Kickstarter and stuff like that, like you could, we sort it. Well, I sort it by you know, newest to oldest, newest. whatever, and going through, and I go all the way through till the last ones I've seen and everything, and. Like, you still somehow miss things. S things still <laughs> slip, slip right. through or, you know, you didn't look at the right time or right. something. Like there was like one that I was really excited about, but it was like a 14-day like a campaign, and it hit, like, and right it was between super fast. two shows. And, like, yeah. it was just – by the time we talked I about it, it, it would have ended. I think I 30 is too long, it, but, but I think uh, – so I've talked to James Hudson about this. I think that three optimal. weeks is perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's that three weeks. Oh, and Michael, thanks for jumping in. I appreciate the Goonies impression. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Oh yeah, God. and, you know, if we end up seeing games that do have huge red flags that are being hugely funded, we do try to mention stuff because – But we don't mention the ones that aren't funded that have red flags, like, on the show because we're not trying to promote 
What right, garbage. right. What I do like about the board game community and the sort of sub community of the Kickstarter is that they really look out for each other. Try like to. There's some game where it feels like they're just ripping off entirely the mechanics of another game. People will back for a dollar, jump in the comments, warn people. Yeah, like I, this I doesn't have that. licensing. Yeah, I love Watch that out. part of the community, you know. So, Ellen, just to answer your question, as far as like the three of us and the style of games that we like, I like super heavy, intense, long games. So, like, I will play war games. I will play heavy strategic maneuvering games. I will play, I mean, I will play if it's complex. She'll the more complex and the em. longer it plays, the better for me because I like my plans to roll out slowly. Like, those are my favorite types of games. You like that slow build. Right, exactly. Like, I'm talking, you know, a couple hours. Like, those are great. Yeah. With Dr. Glory Hog, it's more I of like. I can answer, too, because I'm here. Sorry. You well, I guess you can go ahead. <laughs> I like I 90 guess you can go I ahead. like 90 minutes or less, but it's it's more about the theme. I like when I'm playing a game that I'm doing something fun and exciting. So, like, I'll skip a game because it looks like it's homework. Like yeah, because that's I don't want to yeah. just do math for the sake I of like doing math. I like homework games though. I, <laughs> I'm already game, going yeah. to school. Like I don't need to do more <laughs> classwork as a game. Like yeah. I already have homework I probably should be doing instead. <laughs> so I like to do things that are exciting, things I don't normally get to do. So westerns, like space, you know, medieval yeah. things that are just kind of cool Vikings. Yeah, or world. just things that I don't do, like build a 3D tree. I've never built a tree before. Now I can. Thank you, Kodama. And Greg. I think I'm very mechanics driven, so I'll play any genre. Any length, any style, but it, it's it, got to be the right mechanic. It's got to do something. That it just got to have. I always call it that X factor. And you like unique generic. too. Like you like whenever somebody takes them like deck building, but they add a twist. I, yeah, because I feel like I've been gaming for a long time. You kind of see patterns. You He's see, like, very arcs. old, guys. I'm a hundred. <laughs> uh, I'm actually ancient. So yeah, I'm very mechanics driven. He's like Masandri. Just I takes off his amulet. <laughs> He's really old. <laughs> I like. I mean, I like it when there's good art. I like it when there's a good theme. I like it yeah. when it has all the but elements. But you, but right, you don't. But if I'm have gonna to focus have on one thing, it's got to be just interesting mechanics. And I agree with you. I like those slow build games. I just feel like I never get them to the table. Yeah. I just don't have any time anymore. So yeah. I'm with him in that. I I tend to go towards shorter games or you know 90 minutes minus. Right. Because it just feels like those actually get out. Those actually get played. And that's the key for me is right. getting stuff so on the table, actually being able to play Yeah, games. although we all like, you know, all of those sort of genres of, your, of games, we definitely have very specific games that we sure. like more so. Like right. There's if a lot of overlap. I'm not – well, think. absolutely. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. I like, I'm not going to go back and play King of Tokyo ever because that game Ooh, is insanely <laughs> boring for me. It's not boring. But – You're a monster that gets to punch out a bunch of other monsters. If I have How to, awesome I will try to play if it with people. To. But <laughs> – but it's just not an exciting yeah. game for me. So it's like I don't have – in my mind, I'm like, I don't have time for that, you know? game about being really confused all the time. And I will be <laughs> at – What do you want from me, Ghost? I will be at Origins this year. Yeah, I we'll will be – So for upcoming events – Yes. We're going to – the bo the two of us, the Glories, as Greg would put it, will be at Cool Winnie or Not Expo next weekend. Right. And then she's doing Origins and what's the other one? Gen Con? Gen Con, yeah. You're yeah. going to the With Cool Winnie or Not thing too? It's not just her? Yep, <laughs> I, will, I will also be there. I don't know if I'm just carrying a bag or what. But I'm there to hold the purse, just I guess. Just window dressing, man. Just to hold the purse. I have said that I'm the pretty one, you're and I'm okay queso, with that. You're making the queso runs. Yep. I'll be and there to, f to pick up the Chipotle. I would really like for us to go to Unplugged this year. That would be really cool if we could make it there. I don't know. Are you planning on doing anything like that uh, this year? What are you planning I'm on going to? I'm not doing a lot this year. Because you're doing family vacations more, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The kids are starting to get older. We want to go do stuff with them more. But we're going to do Dice Tower. I'm going to do Dice Tower Con. Yeah. I'm going to do the Dice Tower Retreat, which I think still oh, that's cool. has tickets. And I'm not it's affiliated in any way, but I would plug that. It's such a cool event it's the best like ratio of game library to players so oh, okay. you literally have like 500 games that are all tricked out from tom's personal collection and there's like 250 people there you know so you can play all the cool hottest things that's like 50 people less than your game nights <laughs> that's right that's right so I, I i've dug it and i've met some really cool people there that i still correspond with and stuff in fact i've seen some people in the chat uh, that have popped in every once in a while onto this show that yeah. I met there at the retreat. So I'm doing that one partially because it's in Florida. My brother lives out there too, so it's a chance to see I'm just waiting for also. Greg to invite me to it. Otherwise, I mean, that's I'm just never going to get that invite. Do it. It's okay, Greg. I'm inviting you now. I'm inviting everyone. I think they still have tickets, which is kind of crazy because – Well, yeah, pick me up one. And a lot I'll of get these you a things. Copy of, of Tori. <laughs> at a lot of these events, we are usually working as media oh, as yeah. well. So 
or for I, a company. Like, if you guys are at those events, make sure to message us, and, you know, we'll try to play games with you and stuff right. like that. But during the day, we are usually doing stuff. For the PAX Unplugged one, I would like to go as just Glory Hound Productions. That'd be super fun because we yeah. don't get to go to as many things just as our own entities. Right, exactly. And so, like, I really enjoy doing that sort but of we've stuff. We've so. done but if you guys see in us the past, and dice, we did Dice Tower West, and we right. do all the local Arizona ones. If you guys see us and stuff, like, or know that you're going, or that we're going, and you're going, like, send us a message. We'll try to get together and play we'll some games with you guys. We'll try to go to the guys. UK yeah. Expo or something yeah, for you, Yeah, UK Vincent. Expo would be nice. Like, maybe next year. I really want to go to Essen, too, but I'll, I don't think that's going to work out this year. It's too much... Too much craziness going on. Maybe maybe next year. It's because I, I don't, cause I don't have a passport. I really want to go. Yeah. It's Dr. Glory Hawk needs to get his passport going. Get there, <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not definitely like a bucket list con for me someday. All right. Yeah, cool. We'll, we'll let you guys know if we end up doing that. You guys will know in advance. If you go to the uh, website, I, I usually have what we have listed there. Oh. I like to think <laughs> that he called us both, that he's crying that we are such a SOBs. Bit of column a, a little bit of column B. <gasps> you know, the UK Game Expo has gotten like, crazy where there's a bunch of people going to it yeah. like i was i was it's surprised one the, it's yeah one of the major cons now yeah i was surprised by that there with gen con and origins is mm -hmm. one of the big cons that everyone talks about all right guys i hate to do this but i have to get back to work we gotta go I I we gotta go thanks so much for chatting with us today we appreciate it i hope that all of you guys got your picks done for the day and everything your favorite worth yeah favorite game uh 100 tories i think contention I'm all in about that. Kadama 3D, guys. Ooh, I'm all right. about it right I now. I'm in on that one, too. Super stuff. excited. Stuff. Okay? Stuff. So those are our favorites for the week. And we will see you guys next week. Shout and to oh, one last thing. Friday, since we are going to the Cool Mini or not, we're probably going to have a recorded show, guys. So recorded. Maybe we'll do the preview watch thing or something. I don't know. Something. Yeah. We'll all figure right. out something. All right. See you guys. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come out to Georgia to play that?